That was the greeting that I, that I expected after the GTA 6 fucking trailer. What the? That scared the shit out of me, bro. Because, yeah, it's supposed to go out tomorrow, but they, I, uh, yeah, they really started because of the leaks. I thought they got hacked for a second, like the, the YouTube thing, because um, people were pointing out that the YouTube thing what, had more videos than what's public. So they were like, ah, the video's been put on. Ooh. I saw it on my store because I just, I just finished my dinner. And I was cleaning up, and I looked on my story, and someone posted the GTA 6 trailer, and I was like, what the fuck, is that real? Yeah, but yeah, some fucking idiots bloody leaked it. It's so annoying, Ruined like, things. I hate people keep trying to fucking leak that game, like, just for some quick internet yeah. clout. It's ab absolutely crazy, like, I can't, I can't believe it, I'm excited, uh, I just, so many, so many feelings in my brain right now. I'm not surprised, though, that it's gonna come out in 2025, that was no shock to me. I'm kind of happy and disappointed at the same time because they've had so long to do it, but then... Yeah, but, like, they announced Red Dead 2 in, like, 2016, so I'm not I'm not surprised. And then it came out in 20, late 2018. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. If, if I were to guess, like, fall 2025 is, is my assumption. Okay, 2025, I'm gonna be... Pretty much a year. I'll be 23. Year I'll be 23 when GTA 6 comes out. Isn't that... That's fucking wild. Cause like as soon as I saw the trailer, I put it, I put it in my story, and I was like, ten year old me is shitting her pants right now. I feel like a little kid. I felt like a little kid when I was watching that GTA 6 trailer. Like just the same hype I felt around GTA 5, and like, oh man, it's just so much, so many feelings. I, I don't care. I don't care about the naysayers. I think it's gonna be good. I would like to see some more clips before I oh, get any yeah. more optimistic. That's fair. Right. We'll, we'll totally get more. I feel like we'll get lots of content, I think, next year. I don't want the story to be this, like, serious sort of thing. Like, maybe half serious, but I want it to sort of be like the GTA 5 story. You know, you got some comedy. GTA 5 making... was a perfect balance, because, like, yeah. it had its emotional moments with, like, Michael losing his family Trevor. and wanting to be a good father and yeah and like Trevor know. finding out that Michael lied yeah and like, Brad is dead it balanced it out with funny moments like the way they portrayed Laszlo and the fame or shame mission with Tracy yeah. like being a horrible dancer like they they parody the real world but they can also be serious at the same time and that's what makes Rockstar games great. That's what makes South Park great. That's what makes a lot of good media great is that they can be serious But also they can still be funny. They don't have to pick and choose yeah. and I'm worried like it's gonna be serious like GTA just isn't that sort of serious like full-on serious game like Red Dead was because Red Dead was a completely yeah. different game different time di mm -hmm. different atmosphere it just a whole there different was st stakes to less it. there was less political correctness so to say in 2018 when red dead came out no. compared to now compared to now we're we're in a very different age like especially the past like three years i feel like someone's wokeness trying to shoot me. is very different oh, oh shit i've already got really oh, some orange guys shooting at me oh shit eh but yeah i don't know like i'm excited to see where they take it and i'm not i'm not gonna be one of those like when it's gonna be bad when like no i i'm excited i i want them to do we female character justice because yeah in so much I'm... media the main female character is written horribly and now there's just a reputation where if there's any main yeah. female character she's shit uh, that's what i'm worried about the most is this main female character just don't make like... her a ray skywalker just don't make her a ray skywalker please just don't. i just don't want them to fuck it up if they do this well i want them to get hope again for just female leads because the general consensus around female leads is like oh god like might not be good you know like especially for video games well i mean yeah, it's like the, excluding the, like the, the laurel croft games isn't it? there's some uh, the good female-led games like don't or I don't, you know what i more so mean f just general media i feel like because the laurel croft yeah. games are great you got the, all these uh, actors now complaining that oh there's not a lot of women leads like there's there's been quite a few over the years like oh there's uh, so Terminator much more a big one mm -hmm. Ter you remember Terminator with uh, what was her name I haven't one seen Termin two. Terminator in ages but yeah, yeah I know it was, what you a, mean. It was a, a woman lead being 
chased down by a robot Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, or Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds very badass. And female lead. And she was good, she was badass. Yes. Took no shit. She had her weaknesses. Mm-hmm. And, and just going off that trailer, too, like, visually, the graphics look amazing. Oh, yeah, graphics. Graphics um, amazing. I remember people were... People were super judgy when that leak came out. When was it? Like last year or something with yeah. the gameplay. And people yeah. were like, oh, it looks so bad. But like people forget how bad GTA 5 looked in early development. Like it's an unfair yeah, pe- comparison. Pe- yeah, people just don't understand that the like games take time to develop. Yeah. And that is what yeah, it looks right. like in early stages. Mm-hmm. Like, Red Dead looked different, didn't it? It had a totally different engine. It yeah, did. Yeah. No, even the 2016 it, trailer. Yeah. When you compare the 2016 Red Dead trailer, the game looks different. And the, it actually it looks like a lower quality, honestly. Arthur's face, I remember Arthur's face in the 2016 trailer looked yeah, totally different. Yeah, fucking Looks like Arthur from Wish.com, like... <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't care about the naysayers. I'm, I'm hyped. And the game, like, like we said, visually it looks amazing. And... Also, just like those new vehicles, those glimpses of the new vehicles I saw in the trailer, or, like what, what was that? Like a hovercraft boat or something? In yeah. like a, and it was in a swampy area too. Alligators I, and shit. Like, I would love yeah. to see animals. Oh, and all the wildlife opportunities. Okay, so like, I sent I sent the trailer to my brother because, like, my brother and I grew up playing GTA. That's like our shared childhood game i used to fight him to get to play a miss- mission on gta 5 or gta 4 like we, we would like fight taking turns to play the single player missions and i sent it to him he was like oh like it looks really beachy it looks like the same and i'm like no like there's there's like a swampy area and apparently this map is massive so i could see it i could see it being like red dead 2 with multiple climates like who knows how big that map I really hope is. They have some what's the word? Is it hom- homage? You know, like pay respects to the old Vice City map. Include I want some a lot references. In, but I want, also I want, yeah. new new places. I, w- I want GTA Five references. Right, well, I want references well, to all the games. Well, well, Vice City is pretty much just a parody of Miami, isn't it? So what is yeah. in Florida? Yeah. What is around that area? Uh, Tampa Bay, swamp? Florida men. I want the oh yeah, swamps. It's very swampy. It's very hot. Did Hindu. enjoy the um, the sort of heisty sort of uh, vibe that we're going with this one. I like the vibe of two. Um, I can't remember what the main character's name is, but she like it, it's clear that obviously she's been in a prison and she spent time yeah. and she's trying to get her life back together because it seems like in the beginning she's talking to a job career finder person whatever the fuck the name is for it so it's it's interesting to see that i love i love for them to play with that dynamic and i love the bonnie and clyde vibes i'm getting from her and that other guy yeah it sounds, seems like they're together oh very much the <laughs> way she was like straddling him in the end i'm like oh yeah they're they're definitely yeah. dating but yeah there's there's so much potential for the characters and just the story, the story and the game, there's a lot of potential. I yeah, I'm, hope, I'm, like, it's very fair and balanced between both of the characters. I don't want one to be dominant over the other. As long as they take their time, that is the most important thing. Just take your time, time make it good, I don't care. Like, But then again, don't take forever. Like, don't take yeah, forever, don't, don't. Don't wait 20 years.